Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video, we will talk about someone he is supposedly a bishop of a Catholic church. Uh, and I don't think he is a Catholic, I think this guy is a corrupt man. Uh, the Catholic, they will never teach us a teaching. Uh, all of us, we knew that the Pope, he said himself, Muhammad, he brought nothing but evil. And this is why the Muslims, they tried to kill him, and this is why the Muslims, they tried to kill the Pope before him. Uh, and we knew that the Catholic actually is the one who fought Islam for hundreds of years, protecting the, the you know the European European continent from Islam. Otherwise, Europe now will be uh, a Muslim land by the sword of Muslims. Now this man, his name, uh, his Excellency. You know what? I I don't know about Excellencies these days. Like everybody became Excellencies in the whole Bible. Jesus never been called Excellency. Like isn't it isn't it weird? Jesus he never even have a horse. He have a donkey, and you know he never claimed to be excellency. But uh, all of them they are excellency, and he have PhD in his name. Uh, 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 Bishop Edward K. Braxton. That's wonderful. You are a bishop, and look look look, the bishop is wearing a cross. Uh, guys, don't take me wrong. I'm not making fun of anyone. But I'm really I'm really exposing this man because this man until now maybe you do not know what he did. This man, he wrote an article in his website saying, we all worship Allah. And I want, please, everybody to pause this video everywhere. We all worship Allah. He is teaching in here that, don't you know that we have the same God? Uh, just wait, uh, Your Excellency. I, I have a question for you. You know what? I will, I will assume that you are an educated person. By the way, you are not. I have degrees in Islam. You have nothing about Islam. You are nothing but a potato. I'm not calling your name because the one who says such a thing, it means he did not even read the book he's holding. You see, I think you are acting because there is very clear that when they took the picture for you, it's just an act, you know, to make yourself look like the man of God. But you are not. You are what Jesus spoke about, those who they are, wolves who come to us in the clothes of a sheep. And I will prove it. Because when you say to people that we worship the same God, which is Allah, then I have questions for you. Uh, the first one, uh, did the Bible say that in the heaven we will have virgins to have sex with? Or Jesus, he said he and she would not get married. In the book of Matthew, the Bible, chapter number 22, the chapter says the following. Read with me, Mr. Uh, the Bishop, who claimed to be a bishop, that in the, in the heaven, after the resurrection, neither marry or given in a marriage but are as the angels of God so what we will be in the heaven of the God of the Bible we will be the same as angels and we will not have sex it's very clear verse but the God of the Islam says every Muslim will have a lot of versions and each time the Muslim he sleep with them Allah will make them versions but just wait how we have the same God in the same time you know their heaven have sex our heaven does not there's something wrong there. If we have the same heaven, we should have the same reward. But one of us have uh, uh, no women and no sex, and the other one have a lot of virgins just for sex. It means there's something wrong there. So how do you say that we have the same God? Same time, I want to ask you, what kind of God he asked me, or he promote me, or he, re he reward me, sorry, with a lot of women for sex? It's not about love, then. It's about sex. Because God, if you want me, if you respect first... And here there is no respect for women. Because if God of Islam is respect women, he should not give the man a lot of women to play with, to enjoy. If we are equally exist in the eyes of God, we should not say the man he will get a lot of women to sleep with. But what about the women? The woman herself in Islam is a gift. But look what the Bible says, Your Excellency, that he and she, they will not get married, which means both are equal. Their reward is equal. Both will be the same as angels. Not one will have 72 women at least and 70,000 boys slaves who they are going to serve him does the Bible teach that so how dare you to say that we are worshiping the same God this is number one number two, you are telling people that Muslims they pray a faithful prayer did you tell them that in their prayer they curse us five times a day chapter 1 verse number 7 not like those who they are lost which mean the Christians not like the one who are cursed which mean the Jews do you tell them that is that a prayer of good God start you know asking people to curse each other uh, do you tell them that in their prayer they say that Allah is going to spread hate between the Christians did you, did you tell them that let me show you as you see from those who call themselves Christians Allah is going to string them with hate and enmity 
between one to each other is that what the Bible teach is is the God of the Bible says I'm going to make people hate each other is that the message of Christ you know because you are saying to people that we have the same God if we have the same God why does God Allah he want to spread hate and enmity between one to other is it this is the act of Satan I want you to answer to your people you know you you, you are a leader in the church right I want you to answer to those people how does God <clears throat> especially he's targeting the Christians look it's not me this is not my translation from those who call themselves Christians who are those who call themselves Christians Allah will target anyone who deny Muhammad anyone who says Jesus is God anyone who says there's a Trinity any one of those Allah will increase you know string them with hate and enmity then you need to explain to me how we worship the same God but this God he have nothing to do except spreading hate in earth I thought in your article you are teaching people that you know it's important to, to spread peace I like that but is that peace to spread hate between the Christians is that the peace of God or this is a Satan teaching and by the way, I'm not going to mention to you how many verses of the Quran saying go and kill them wherever you find them. You should know them already. Like, come on. It's, it's, it became like a stinky topic. It's all over the Quran. Specifically speaking about attacking the Christians. Because you started your article saying many, many things that uh, Islam is a religion of Osama bin Laden. You know, when he, was, when he said that, by the way, do you know what the reason he said that? He's trying to make you believe <laughs> that this is a silly topic. You know, Islam have nothing to do with Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden is a bad guy. What if I show you that Muhammad did a lot more ugly stuff from Osama bin Laden? Osama bin Laden, he was a good Muslim. And you are trying to give people wrong, wrong explanation of Islam. Now, let us see why Osama bin Laden for him don't present Islam because he killed people, right? Correct? Okay. Did Muhammad kill, kill, kill everybody? Every Jews, every woman, every child? Yes or no? We will show you. Here we go. Osama bin Laden is bad for him, remember? So if we show you Muhammad doing more than what, what Osama bin Laden did, it's mean Muhammad is a bad man too. He's trying to praise Muhammad. Actually, he's praising Muhammad that he's a good man. Because Osama bin Laden don't present Islam. Osama bin Laden is a terrorist. I want to ask you, did Muhammad, is Muhammad a terrorist? Let us find out. This is the book of Sahih al-Bukhari. By the way, Sahih al-Bukhari is the same as Quran for them. So don't play games with me, Mr. Alexi, your, uh, sorry, your Excellency, Edward, the, the bishop. Book number one, uh, hadith number six. Muhammad, he gave an order to kill every Jew present in the country. Just, just wait, just wait. He did order to kill every Jew in the country? Yes. Don't be worried from the Jews no more. Just issue an order to kill all the Jews in the country. And they were discussing how to kill them all. And then the king, sorry, the prophet of Islam, he sent a messenger to the king of Ghassan. He's an Arab Christian. And he sent another message to her colleagues. What the message saying? Let me show you. I, I, I want to remind people, isn't this what uh, Osama bin Laden he did? Osama, he sent a, a video to George Bush saying, either you convert to Islam or we will kill you. I advise you. And look, it's exactly what Muhammad did. Here we go. Muhammad, he sent a messenger to, to Hercules, the same as to Ghassan. And uh, uh, on Hercules, the Hercules invited all the heads of Byzantium to assembly after, the, after he sent the message. And he did read the message of Muhammad to him. What the message was, then he came out and said, the messenger of Muhammad, Byzantium, uh, oh, uh, oh uh, sorry, yeah, if you if you success in your is is your desire, you want to be succeed? Is that your desire? Great. Uh, if you seek the right guidance, and you want your empire to remain, if you want your empire to remain, then give a pledge and alliance to the Prophet, i.e., embrace Islam. But I thought Osama bin Laden is the bad guy. This is a guy saying here, Muhammad saying that the Roman, the Roman, which this guy is supposedly his church belonged to, which his church fought Islam for hundreds of years, more than a thousand years actually, saying to them, either you convert to Islam or I'm going to destroy your empire. I thought the one who do that is the bad guy. But this is Muhammad doing that. Muhammad, he sent the three letters to the three kings, the Roman, the Persian, and the Ethiopian, saying the same, either you embrace Islam or I'm going to kill you. And he did. Later they will say to you, do you know about the crusade? But they will not say to you that this is the start of the crusade. Those people, they never attack Muhammad. The crusade was a react, not an act. Muhammad, he came to them as you see, the story in the front of your eyes. After he killed all the Jews present in the country, 
Huh? Killed them all. Actually, he killed even all the Christians. Where is the Christians in Saudi Arabia? What happened? Have you ever heard about a country the whole population have one religion? Like, that's it? Everybody agree? There's no atheist, there's no gay, there's no lesbian, there's no Democrat, there's no Republican. All of them, they are Muslim. And all of them, they are Sunni too. There's no Shia. Either. That's it. Everybody have to be from the same sect. Actually, there's a little Shia, they are killing them right. What's wrong? If Islam is a great religion, how come they did not allow the Jews and the Christians to live there? Oh, oh the, the, the Excellency will not tell you that Muhammad says that we are dirty in the... Did he tell you that in the article? No, he did not. If we ask uh, His Excellency, do you think Muslims are dirty? We should not allow them to enter church. He will say, no way, this is racism. Well, the Quran says that we are dirty. This is why we are kicked out of the country. That's why they killed us. Here we go, it's in front of you. We are najis. Najis actually not only impure, it is filth. We are filthy. Actually, I'm not the one saying that. Read with me. The word filthy in the front of your eyes. I know His Excellency, he, he maybe he wear glasses, huh? They are filthy in religious sense. So we are filthy. Is that the teaching of Christ? That we make a sign says uh, Muslims are filthy, don't allow them to enter this place? Huh? Is that South Africa where they separate between white and black? With, with this filthy discrimination? This is discrimination. Because the divide is Islam divide the world to two worlds. The world of a clean and the world of filthy. Anyone as a Muslim is a filthy. Is that a teaching of God? Did you tell your people in your article that Muslims they have a duty to fight us and kill us and that they force us to do jizya? So one day if they get the power over America, they will kill all the Christians, all the Christians have to pay jizya. And did you tell them that jizya is not taxed as Muslims they lie to us? Simply, jizya is a sign of disgrace and humiliation. Let me, I'm, I'm, I'm just showing you the Muslim website. This is Ibn Kathir, it's not the Quran. Quran. Paying jizya is a sign of kufr and disgrace. Did you tell them that this is a punishment because they refuse to embrace Islam? Are you telling them that Islam is against freedom? If you don't accept Islam, they will force you to do it by making you pay money and then, then you give it up? Did you tell them that the Prophet of Islam says, don't initiate salam to the Jewish and the Christians if you meet any of them in the road and force them to the most narrow alley, which means a Muslim. If he see you in the, in, the, in the street, he have to force you to go in the sewage line? Is that the teaching of God? Then your Excellency, who is teaching people that God, Allah is our God too, I want to ask you, you know, as long you are wearing a cross, and yes, as long you are wearing the cross, it means you believe in the crucifixion. So do you believe that the Quran saying the truth that Jesus never been crucified? Are you telling the Christians that Jesus never been crucified in the Quran and this is the truth? Or you are saying to them that what is written in the Bible is the truth? How you say we have the same God when we have the same, di we have different belief? Shame on you, liar. The one who denied the crucifixion of Jesus, uh, you know what? I'm not going to go there. I'm going to prove to you that you are a liar and you are a corrupt man with a very simple sentence in the, ver in, the, in the Bible. The Bible says that the one who denied the Father, who denied the Son, is an Antichrist. This is, can be found in 1st John chapter 2, verse number 22. Who is the liar? Please guys, it's not me saying that. Please focus with me. This is not my words, this is not my translation. Who is the liar? Is he that he denied Jesus is the Christ? He and he is the Antichrist that he denied the Father and the Son. Just wait. Just wait, just wait. You told us that the God of Islam, Allah, is the same. We worship the same God. But the God of Islam teach that there is no son and there is no father. And the Bible says that the one who is denying that is the Antichrist. So you are saying to us that the, our God is Antichrist? Allah is, is the Antichrist who is our God. So are you a follower of Antichrist? Because the God of Islam, he denied the father, denied the son. You are saying it clearly. And this is why you are saying, I, I say you are a follower of Antichrist. You are an Antichrist actually. Because you are praising the God of Islam who denied the Father, the Son, which the Bible is saying that the one who da do that is an Antichrist. And the whole religion of Islam is based on denying the crucifixion, denying of the Father and the Son. Therefore, you are a follower of Antichrist and you are a satanic man. And I advise the church which you work in, they are paying for your salary, for your food, to kick you out right away. You are a corrupt man. You are no Christian. And this is the Quran in front of you, chapter 4, verse number 71, saying that those who believe in Trinity, they are committing blasphemy against God. There is no Trinity in Islam, there is no father, there is no son. God don't have a son. So you are a liar and you are a corrupt man. You know, different verse in the Quran saying, chapter 5, verse number 73, those who they say there is Trinity, they are doing blasphemy against God. They are kuffar, they will go to hell. And you are telling us we have the same God? So what is left of Christianity? What is left of your belief? What is left of your clothes you are wearing? If there is no Trinity, there is no Son, there is no Father, there is no crucifixion, who is the Christian then? And why you call yourself a Christian? You are a false hypocrite man and you are a man of Satan. And I announce that to people so they can expose you. And I want everybody to spread this video all over so we can expose this liar, the hypocrite, the corrupt man who is calling himself the Bishop, His Excellency, Edward K. Braxton, because the one who teach against the Bible, he is a false Christian. Christ is Lord, and this man is false. I mean to that.